as you were saying before, you can see it rising. How worried are you that it could get out of control? Yeah, look, there's a, there's a level of concern. Um, some of the things that are working in our favour is, of course, um, you know, the area that we uh, live in. We have, as I said earlier, um, a tremendous collaboration between all law enforcement agencies. Um, we have a a, um, a public that's uh, not willing to tolerate the nonsense um, that the drug brings, uh, and they're prepared to stand up and speak uh, to police, or at least uh, in maintaining their anonymity. Um, contact Crime Stoppers and report what it is they know. Um, so I think there's a number of things that are working in our favour. Uh, nationally, I think it's watched with great interest and I think there's going to be a lot of developments um, towards targeting uh, those that d distribute the misery into regions such as ours. Do you think people in the public are taking it seriously enough? Look, uh, there's been significant interest, um, certainly since uh, the announcement of the federal government's um, uh, look into uh, the product itself. Um, you know, we're, we're receiving more and more calls for um, uh, assistance in providing uh, public education and that sort of um, uh, thing. So I think that uh, the message is, is out there, and if it's not, it's certainly getting out there, that this is um, probably one of the bigger emerging issues that um, we will have to face um, during the current period. Given that it's in such small communities, it, it really has a grip on, on some of the smaller communities around the far north, doesn't it? And, and what impact is it having on those smaller communities? Look, um, you know, we're seeing um, devastating effects um, in those areas where it is used. Um, you know, there's no escaping the effects of it. It's, it's uh, almost instantaneously addictive. You know, it comes at a high cost. Um, those that are peddling the uh, the misery uh, are certainly seeking um, monetary compensation for the product they've distributed. And where a person has uh, fallen to the addiction, um, they get behind in the ability to pay for it, and those debts are recouped. So we're seeing acts of violence. We're seeing um, you know, home invasions, for a want of a better term, those sort of things occurring. But we also see, you know, just socially, like the loss of desire to be employed, uh, the loss of desire to contribute to society. So it's got tremendous impacts, particularly in the smaller centres, uh, you know, and that's why I say we watch with great interest um, and we're um, progressing a number of different strategies to, um, to get ahead uh, within the Far North District on, on the war on ice. Looking at it now, as it is, yep. do you think you can beat it? Look, um, if the supply into the area were consistent, uh, I'd say yes. Um, you know, there's... Um, I've had the opportunity to attend the Drug Strategy um, Conference in Brisbane recently and antedatally what is uh, destined for Australia is alarming. Um, setting up a number of different networks within the far north uh, area, um, I think that we are very well postured um, to stay ahead of the game, um, depending on the, the, the level of, um, of supply into the area. So, you know, we're very well postured. If the supply floods the market and, um, you know, we don't have the ability to, uh, you know, stay on top of it, yeah, then there is great concerns. It's probably important to say that this is not solely a policing issue. This is a whole of government issue. This is, there's a number of government agencies that need to come to the table uh, on it, um, in, including Queensland Health, and there's a number of uh, non-government organisations who are funded for drug um, uh, counselling and the like that need to be uh, uh, with us and, and working in the same direction.